Winking, Blinking, Wiggling, and Waggling by Brian Moses. Eyes are for looking, seeing, and staring. Eyes are for watching, gazing, and glaring. Eyes are for squinting, winking, and blinking. Eyes are for prying, spying, and spotting. Eyes are for peeking, peeping, and sleeping. Whose eyes are these? He sleeps by day and hunts by night. His loud hoo hoo gives mice a fright. Let's see if you can figure out who that is. The next one. This sea creature is cleverer than you think. He hides from enemies by firing black ink. He stretches his neck to the top of a tree and eats all the leaves that he can see. That's a different eye. She lies very still, she could be asleep, but if birds come close, just watch her leap. Were you right? Let's see if you could figure out who they are. Let's check it out and see if you did. Some animals see much better than we do. An owl's huge eyes help him to hunt for food in low light. A squid needs to see in deep, dark water. Giraffes have very good eyesight and can see long distances. A cat sees about six times as well as we do at night. Cat's eyes. A cat's eyes shine at night because mirror-like parts in them reflect light. Many animals have mirror-like parts in their eyes to help them see in low light. Mom says, I haven't got eyes in the back of my head. But a jumping spider has eight eyes all around her head. She has two large eyes that look forward. Her other six eyes are smaller and look to her back and sides. Four-eyed fish live near the surface of water. Their eyes are divided in two so they can see enemies in the air and in the water at the same time. A horsefly can see in every direction because a fly's eyes are made up of hundreds of tiny parts. Eyes like this are called compound eyes. This is why it is so hard to swat a fly. He can see you coming from every direction. Dad says, watch out, I've got my eye on you. But if a vulture has an eye on a sick animal, it had better watch out. Vultures feed on dead animals and can spot a sick animal far away. Birds of prey like vultures have the keenest eyesight of all birds. Tarsiers wake up at night. Their large eyes help them to spot danger in the rainforest after dark. They can also turn their heads almost full circle to keep a lookout for enemies. Mom says, watch where you're going. But a mole has tiny eyes and can't really see where he's going. Moles spend most of their time digging underground, so they don't need big eyes. Earthworms have no eyes at all. They live underground. If they come above the ground, their other senses tell them if there is movement nearby. Then they hide quickly in case an enemy is coming. Larder for later. Moles find worms to eat by smelling and touching. Sometimes they store the worms in a mole larder and eat them later. Dad says, don't throw things, you'll knock someone's eye out. But snails don't have to worry about their eyes. Snails have their eyes on the ends of long stalks. If a snail senses danger, he pulls the stalks inside his head. Birds of prey such as this eagle have an, a layer of clear skin that flicks over their eyes to clean and protect it. A camel's eyes are protected too. She has two rows of eyelashes to keep out the desert sand and the glare of the sun. Ears are for hearing, harking, and heeding. Ears are for listening, snooping, and sneaking. Ears are for washing, wiggling, and waggling. Ears are for pricking up, picking up, and tuning in. Ears are for flapping but not for flying. Whose ears are these? 
She has a long furry tail and dainty feet. At night, she goes looking for something to eat. Here's the next one. He lives in a burrow under the ground. He hops away if he hears a sound. Whose ears are they? She's a bit like a monkey. She's a bit like a bear. She's a bit like a baby with her wide-eyed stare. There's another ear. He's orange and black and hunts at night. His open mouth is a scary sight. Whose ear is that? Let's see if you got them right. Turn the page. We will. Many animals can hear much better than we can. A mouse has large ears, so she can sense danger nearby. A rabbit can hear when an enemy is creeping up behind him. A bush baby's ears help her to hear the insects she hunts at night. A tiger hunts at dusk or at night and can hear small animals rustling, rustling in the grass. Keep an eye on the ears. Tigers have white spots on the backs of their ears. People think that these help cubs to keep track of their mothers in dense jungles. Mom says, don't mumble. I can't hear a word you're saying. But many animals can hear sounds that are outside our hearing range. We can't hear the, sound, the high sound of a dog whistle, but a dog can. Bats catch insects by making high squeaks that we can't hear. Their squeaks bounce off insects and come back as echoes. A bat can then figure out how far away an insect is. Whale talk. Whales talk by making sounds called songs. We can't hear them from far away, but whales hear each other call from hundreds of miles away. Dad says, can you wiggle your ears? Not many people can, but foxes can wiggle their ears. They turn them to hear where a sound is coming from. Worm alert. A fox's hearing is so good that he can catch worms by listening to the rustling of their bristles on the grass. Rhinos can also turn their large ears to pick up sounds. Kangaroos do this too. They can turn their ears in the exact direction of a noise. Mom says, listen when I'm talking to you. You've got ears, haven't you? But some creatures don't seem to have ears at all. Birds' ears are two small holes in the sides of their heads, which are covered by feathers. Fish have ears inside their skulls. Snakes don't have outer ears. They are deaf to most sounds but they can pick up footsteps and other vibrations from the ground. Frogs and toads have large flat eardrums just behind their eyes. They need good hearing to listen out for enemies. Dad says, I'm all ears, but some animals really are. A fennec fox hears the tiniest sound with his huge ears. Air blowing over his ears also cools his blood which keeps him cool in the desert. Look at those ears. Each of an African elephant's ears can be five and a half feet or 1.7 meters across. She flaps her ears to cool down. Animals with such amazing ears never forget to wash behind them, even if you forget to wash behind yours. The end.